All right, and welcome back, citizens one and all. Patch day today. We're gonna do a quick little review on. Um... Oh, we got customers on the player vending. We got our vending machine up. We got a lot of stuff in it. I decided to set it up before we even did anything. But let's let's check out. Yeah, we got two different customers. These are the first customers I've seen. But, but we can't do anything right now because the vendor is busy. I wonder if we can put up more than one. I wonder. Can I add another one? Or is it, does it just say... I can build four total. Okay, so we can get a really fancy shop going if we can have four of these going at once. That means we can have four people viewing at the same time. Let's go ahead and, and take some food here. Yeah, this is the first time we've seen customers. Let's go ahead and get a second one going. We'll just turn it. Uh, look at that. He bought something for 68. We got 68, whatever he bought. Very nice. We can go ahead and set up another one. Nah, we'll, we'll look through. Um... Oh, yeah. Let's do it right here. How about that? Let's move that out the way. Yeah, don't bother. Don't, don't, don't mind me, guys. We're just getting this going today. So you can have four of these total. So we'll go ahead and plug this one in to there like that. Now we can have two customers shopping at the same time. But we're going to use this one and we're going to review what's going on here. So all this stuff is up and for sale, but it's in a different vending machine. So that's also something unique. But we will go over some things here. Like um, you can click on an item, set the price, press space to accept. Then you can click on that item again. And cancel the sale, and it will then re reappear right back in your um, your stash is where it's going to wind up going. So you can have multiple vending machines, but each vending machine is going to be different. But let's go ahead and fill this one full of plans as well. We're going to just use the base prices unless I feel it's worth more. The prices here aren't horrible. Yeah, that's pretty good. Normally, I am going to put it up a bit above 500, so let's say 550. We'll take that 10% is what we want. Now, when you post these items, these items are going to go back into your stash is what they're going to do. So we can assign items from stash back to our own inventory, like a piece of lead scrap, and then we can take that lead scrap and put it in the vending machine like that. And then we need to uh, right-click to cancel that again, and it should go right back to your stash. So if you were to post something like a lot of ammo, um, let's see here. What do we have a lot of? Like these 38 rounds. If I were to try and post up 7,038 rounds right now, it's not going to let me. And the reason it's not going to let me is because I don't have space in my stash to sell these. But in this case, we do. But now you do see the stash is full, 800 by 800. That was about 30 pounds worth of ammo. So now those are for sale. So we've got a bunch of ammo for sale, but all this ammo we have here in the different vending machines is going to cost us in the long run. But And then you saw there we did have an initial... Uh, uh, we had an initial purchase there. And you can see everybody's got stuff for sale. This is so cool. So let's jump around to a few camps. The only negative thing I have to say right now is the camps. Like, the camp traveling is expensive. But he's got 64... Four plans. Let's go look at his plans right now. We'll fast travel over there, take a quick peek, see if we can buy anything. I will say that while you can put up alternate vending machines, I don't like that you can't have the inventories linked together. I think it should maintain like 30 slots and you should just be able to um, purchase stuff or put stuff in the vending machine. See, the vendor is busy right now. So if, I, if this guy had another vending machine, it would have totally different stuff in it. Well, let's jump to another one then. Something that we might purchase. They don't have much for sale. Any others up here? But yeah, so I don't like that. I'd rather see the, the slots increase. Every time you place a vending machine, I'd rather see the slots increase, but the vending items stay shared. So people can just shop at any vending machine. Because you put up a second one, and it's unique items. And I also don't like how it takes up uh, stash space. So hopefully they'll fix that in the future as well. But let's see where this guy puts his vending machine. Right here. Okay. He's just selling a lot of gear he's been saving. 
No, we can press X. You could press X up until right now to um, further inspect, but it's not letting me right now. So we don't know what these other stars are, unfortunately. It was working earlier. I'm thinking that uh, there's some kind of bug going on right now. It must be. But oh well. So he's got a lot of weapons and gear for sale. So who else we got? Um, somebody's there shopping right now. Uh, he's got a lot of random stuff. Okay. So overall, people are really liking this. They think it's cool. Uh, the only thing I don't like is um, the fact that it takes up stash space. So my stash is now full because I have so much ammo for sale. So I don't like that at all. But um, the biggest thing I see with player vending is if you're plugged into groups like Market76 or otherwise, there are standardized pricings on there. But player vending is going to become, in my mind and in my opinion, this is just my opinion, player vending is going to become the new Amazon in the game. And I say Amazon in the sense that when you buy something on Amazon, and it says free shipping. We all know it's not really free shipping. We all know you're paying a bit more. Most of the time. So I'm going to normally probably price things 5 to 10% more because that is going to allow me to recoup the actual price that I want it to get. So you're probably going to see stuff like that a lot. So keep your eye out for things like that. My camp is full. See, I can't put anything else in there right now. So if I wanted to post anything else for sale, it would have to be out of the camp inventory itself. Uh, something like acid or scrap. Maybe some crimson flux. Let's, let's get rid of like six of those. I normally see crimson flux go for about 40 a piece. So we'll say 35. We'll be nice. We'll post those up. And since that's already in our inventory, or already in our um, stash, we just pull it from our stash to our inventory, and then we post from our inventory back into your stash. But that is player vending in a nutshell. And as you guys saw there, we had a, uh, a sale at the start. But uh, I'll leave you all to it. Good luck with vending. Good luck with the multiple vending machines. It seems like it's probably going to get pretty confusing. But we're going to run two for now and see how it goes. But you all take care and enjoy the wasteland. Goodbye.